Hello Rich Insiders, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing to not miss our latest updates. Have you ever wondered why you value things more when you build them yourself? This is called the IKEA effect. It's a cognitive bias that originated in the realm of consumer psychology. Named after the Swedish furniture giant IKEA, this phenomenon describes a situation where people place a higher value on products they have had a hand in creating. For example, an experiment conducted by a company selling ready-to-make cake mixes saw immense growth in their sales just by tweaking one small thing. They suggested their customers add an egg to the mix before baking the cake. Guess what? Their sales blew up. Similarly, understanding this concept and leveraging it for your business can make wonders. Consumer psychologist Ernest Dichter, who conducted this experiment, predicted that adding an egg into the mix created an illusion for housewives that they had indeed baked the cakes themselves, leading to increased sales. Understanding such consumer behaviors can significantly boost your sales and business. That's exactly what we will discuss in this video. The IKEA effect taps into two key psychological mechanisms, ownership and effort justification. Ownership, quite simply, is the sense of possession. When we contribute to the creation of a product, we feel a sense of ownership towards it. This ownership then enhances our perceived value of the product. On the other hand, effort justification is the idea that the harder we work on something, the more we appreciate it. It's the sweat, the toil, the elbow grease we put into assembling that flat pack furniture that makes us cherish it more. The IKEA effect has been proven in various case studies. For instance, a study conducted by Harvard Business School found that participants were willing to pay 63% more for furniture they had assembled themselves compared to identical pre-assembled items. A similar study involving origami creations yielded comparable results with participants valuing their creations more than professionally crafted ones. Lego is another good example of how you can make your product appealing to many people just by letting them do it. In other words, let your customers have their creative freedom in the process. That is a big reason why Legos are super popular. But it's not just about flat pack furniture or paper cranes or Lego bricks. The IKEA effect has far-reaching implications in the business world too. For instance, it's observed when customers customize their sneakers on Nike's website. These examples show that when customers are involved in the creation process, they perceive a higher value in the end product. This not only increases their willingness to pay, but also their satisfaction and loyalty towards the brand. So it's evident that the IKEA effect is a powerful psychological force that can make us value things more when we have contributed to their creation. Stay tuned to explore how you can leverage this effect to boost your business strategy and increase sales. Now that we understand the IKEA effect, how can we use it to our advantage? Well, there are several strategies that can be employed to leverage this fascinating phenomenon in your business. Uh, firstly, encouraging co-creation is a powerful way to ignite the IKEA effect. By involving customers in the product development process, you're not only gaining valuable insights, but also fostering a sense of ownership. This can be achieved by soliciting feedback, ideas and suggestions from your customers. In this way, you're tailoring your products to their preferences, creating a product they feel they've had a hand in creating. Remember, the more input a customer has in the creation process, the more they'll value the end product. Next, let's talk about personalization. In today's digital age, customers expect personalized experiences and businesses that deliver these stand out. You can use analytics and customer insights to tailor your marketing and communication efforts, ensuring they resonate with individual customers. This strategy goes hand in hand with the IKEA effect, as personalized experiences can make customers feel more involved and connected to your brand. Lastly, building emotional connections is a crucial aspect of leveraging the IKEA effect. The value a customer places on a product isn't solely about the product itself, it also comes from the emotional connection they feel towards it. Sharing customer success stories, testimonials and user-generated content can showcase the positive experiences of other customers, further strengthening this emotional connection. In essence, the IKEA effect is all about involvement and ownership. The more a customer feels they've contributed to a product or experience, the more they'll value it. By encouraging co-creation, engaging in personalization and building emotional connections, you can leverage the IKEA effect to create a stronger bond between your customers and your brand. 
By engaging customers in the creation process and personalizing their experience, we can make them feel a stronger connection to your brand and products. So why not start exploring how you can integrate the IKEA effect into your business strategy today? The IKEA effect doesn't just make customers value our products more, it can also increase customer loyalty. Indeed, this psychological phenomenon can be a potent tool in fostering not just a passing interest, but a lasting bond between customers and brands. Firstly, let's discuss how the IKEA effect can help foster community and advocacy. By involving customers in the creation process, we create an environment where they feel valued and part of something bigger. This sense of belonging can lead to the formation of a community around your brand. Social media platforms and offline events can serve as perfect spaces for these communities to thrive. Here, customers can connect, share experiences and support each other, further deepening their bond with the brand. But the benefits don't stop at community building. Satisfied customers who feel a sense of ownership over a product or service are likely to share their positive experiences with others, leading to word of mouth marketing. This form of marketing is incredibly powerful as people tend to trust the recommendations of their peers more than any corporate advertisement. It's like a chain reaction. One satisfied customer can lead to many more, all through the power of personal recommendation. Lastly, the IKEA effect can encourage repeat purchases and foster long-term relationships. When customers put effort into creating or personalizing a product, they develop a sense of attachment to it. This emotional connection can translate into brand loyalty, leading to repeat purchases over time. Furthermore, the IKEA effect can turn a one-time transaction into a long-term relationship, as customers who feel connected to a brand are more likely to return for future purchases. So you see, the IKEA effect is not just about increasing the perceived value of a product. It's also about building strong, lasting relationships with customers. It's about transforming customers into community members, advocates and loyal patrons. Research has shown that when customers feel a sense of ownership and connection to your brand, they're more likely to speak out in favor of the brand. So harness the power of the IKEA effect and watch as your customers transform from one-time purchasers into loyal advocates for your brand. So how can we put these strategies into action? Let's explore some practical ways to implement the IKEA effect. First off, it's essential to create a seamless assembly experience. This means making the process of product creation or customization easy and enjoyable. Think along the lines of clear instructions, intuitive design and immediate gratification upon completion. Next, let's discuss marketing. Engaging marketing campaigns that emphasize customer involvement and ownership can go a long way. Highlight the co-creation aspect, the personal touch they can add, and the unique value of a product they've had a hand in creating. Finally, we turn to community building and user-generated content. By encouraging customers to share their creations, experiences, or ideas, you not only foster a sense of community, but also generate authentic content that can inspire others. With these strategies, you can leverage the IKEA effect to increase customer engagement and loyalty. So, what are your thoughts on the IKEA effect? Have you implemented something of this sort in your business? Share your experiences and insights below. We'd love to hear from you. Also, subscribe to our channel. We publish all useful topics ranging from money to wealth building and everything in between. Until next time, take care.